All right. Now I'm going to show, show you a picture. Actually, it's three pictures in one. I want you to tell me when you see them what these things have in common. Are you ready? Okay, let's have the picture. Can you tell what's in there? The one on the right is kind of hard to see. It's a lot of candy. Luke, what do these things have in common? Okay, flowers. Yes, there are flowers up there. Um, and okay, and, and sort of the bottom picture does have flowers in it too. And probably some candy flowers. It's a little hard to see. What do you think, Katie? It's all for Mother's Day. Okay, these are the kinds of things that people might give to their mothers for Mother's Day. Now, last couple of weeks, um, I spent a couple of days uh, substituting an art class at the elementary school that's close by here. I guess you know that because I had you in class, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. That was well, Anyway, I had you recently. I know that. Um, but what, I, what I've noticed, and this is kind of sad, I noticed there are a lot of kids um, who are making who are making cards for someone other than their mother because their, their mother is not available at that time. But there's always somebody who at least is stepping in in the place for their mother. So people were making cards for their mothers or for their grandmothers or for an aunt. And uh, these are the kinds of things that we give them on Mother's Day. Now, did any of you give, somebody, give uh, your moms something for Mother's Day? You want to share what that is, Janella? You made your mom breakfast in bed. I bet she liked that. All right, very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Want to? Okay, well, I'm going to give you a suggestion of something um, to give for Mother's Day. It's free, but um, you, still have to, you still have to put some effort into it. I want you to give your ears as a present for Mother's Day. And I think, okay, now that sounds kind of painful. My ears are nicely attached to the side of my head, and I don't mean pull them off and actually hand them to her, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you should listen to what she says. You know that moms and, and people who, who uh, help to raise children, what they really like is when the kids listen to them. In fact, there's a verse of Scripture that comes out of Proverbs. It says, listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and don't reject your mother's teaching. You know, moms and dads work together a lot of times to help kids to know what to do and what's right. You know what I see a lot of, and it's kind of sad, and I don't, I don't see that that much from you all, but I, I know enough kids out there, and I see it enough that it, it really kind of bothers me. Mom or dad will say something, tell them to do something, and then the kids will try to make them feel guilty about it. Now, I've talked to you about this before. I've talked to you about this in here. I've talked to you about this back there. But I think this is something that's so important that we need to be reminded often. That is, moms and dads, when they give instruction, they're doing God's work. They're doing exactly what God wants them to do to give instruction to, to help their kids grow. Do you know that mom and dads do not give instruction because they want to make their kids angry? Because they want to make their kids feel bad. They want their kids not to have any fun. Did you know that is not the reason why mom and dads give instruction? Why do mom and dads give instruction then? Yes. They want to follow God's instructions and they want you to learn to follow God's instructions as well. So when mom or dad tell you to do something and they're, they're doing what God wants them to do, do you think it's a right thing to do to try to make them feel bad, make them wish they hadn't told you to do that, try to hurt their feelings for making you do something you didn't want to do? That's, that's exactly what God does not want us to do. He wants us to listen, to give our ears to the father's instruction and to the mother's teaching because they're doing what God wants them to do. Okay, so uh, whether or not you've got something for your, uh, for your moms already, and of course Father's Day is coming up, that kind of stuff, but if, whether or not you've done anything, uh, think about how you can give your ears and give your attention and give your obedience, and that's something that they would really like to have. Okay, thank you for coming up here, and you may go back to your seats. <laughs> 